Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an R2 installation using the R2T applicator tool. Let's begin the steps. The first step is to determine what rivet size to use. We're going to measure the belt thickness after it's been skived. Using our rivet selection gauge, we're going to slide it in the R2 section. And here it's showing I can use a B or an A rivet. Now we can load the fastener strip onto the RT applicator tool, lining it up on the left side of the fastener strip and the remaining plates hanging off on the right side. Using the hinge pin for the corresponding splice, we'll insert that to locate the fastener strip into the R2T applicator. And now we'll load the belt all the way up against the belt stops of the fastener strip and we're going to center it side to side. A little tip is using your R2 fastener box to help level out the belt with the base. And now we'll preset the plates, making sure we preset the left side, and then presetting the right side, making sure that that belt is still up against the belt stop. And then we'll preset the remaining plates, And now we can go ahead and install the rivets. We're going to go ahead and do the middle plate first, then we'll do the left and right edges of the fastener strip that's located on the base. So we've done the middle, now I'm going to go to the left side. And then the right side. And that helps lock the fastener into the belt so the belt can't slide on a position. And now we'll go ahead and fill in the remaining rivets. Before doing the final three plates, we're going to go ahead and final set the plates that already have the rivets. To do that, we're going to install the rivets down and the plates to make sure we get good compression and pucker. Making sure we don't hit the loop or the hinge area. And now we'll slide the hinge pin out. We'll remove any excess nails left underneath the fastener and all the nails left in the applicator tool. And now we'll locate the belt and fasteners back in, sliding the hinge pin in, and we'll preset the final plates. We'll go ahead and install one in the middle. Lock in each side. And then install the remaining rivets. And then we'll final set these last three plates. We'll go ahead and remove the hinge pin. Remove any excess nails and remove the nails from the base. And this way, the tool is all set up for the next user. And we'll repeat these steps for the other belt end. After installing the second belt end, now we could bring our two belt ends together, making sure we always notch the trailing edge of the belt. We'll bring our two belt ends together, making sure the plates line up with each other, and we'll insert the hinge pin. And then we can use the corresponding hinge pin retaining collar to lock in the hinge pin. And that's how you do an R2 installation with the R2T applicator base.